Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake. You're watching Jay-Z Pulse. And today we have two, that's right, two boxes of the brand new 2021-22 Upper Deck Series 1 Hockey. Um, this is a pretty damn good set. Uh, you have Trevor Zegris, Cole Caulfield, Jeremy Swayman, uh, Uka Pekka Lekanen, or Lukanen, whatever you want to call him, is in there. Tanner Janot, uh, Spencer Knight. There's a lot of really good names in here. Uh, two Rangers, two that jump out to me are Zach Jones and Morgan Barron. They're in this set as well, but uh, it's going to be a fun video. Um, these are two boxes that uh, everybody was really looking forward to because our product's been so far behind on all of their releases. And so, you know, when this came out, everybody was getting into it. But I didn't really want to jump the gun too fast because I'm not really a gigantic fan of this crop. I think that there's a lot of names that are, I mean, well, you know, it kind of has a pros and cons because my argument was going to be that I don't really like it because there's not a lot of big names yet. Um, but that's because, you know, it's it's brand new. Um, you can't really, can't really expect all these, Jesus, that's back. You can't really expect all these names to be, you know, really talented yet. Obviously, you know, you have Caulfield and Zegris and excuse my, excuse my little voice crack there, but you know, Zegris is close to a point per game already in his career. And, you know, he's, you got to look at, you know, the talent that he's generating for uh, Anaheim and, you know, him playing with Sonny Milano. And then you have Caulfield, who I think as of today's recording is on a pretty good point streak uh, under new coach Marty St. Louis. So there's a lot of promise for this class. And I think that, you know, when you have a lot of names that a lot, not a lot of people know that much, it, it can, you know, lead to this set being worth a lot of, a lot of, a lot of money in the future. A um, couple other cards to look out for. I'm going to keep these two to the side just so we kind of know, uh, maybe do a little comparison of which box was better. But there's, uh, you know, Easter egg canvas cards. Uh, I know uh, Quentin Byfield's canvas is in here. So that's another really good card that I'm going to be on the lookout for. But um yeah, I mean, I'm excited. Let's get right into it. Here we go. Uh, looking for roughly six young guns per box. Could be more, could be less. I know Upper Deck's quality control has been questionable. Okay, we have a young gun in our first pack. But uh, yeah, let's, let's get this underway. So Nick Haig, second year Lafreniere. I am looking for the high gloss of that card. I think his second year stuff is going to be really expensive because I like that picture a lot. Jordan Greenway, and we have... Patrick Hornquist, our first young gun of the box is a Michael Hauser. Um, so again, there's a goalie who not all people know, but again, his future could be very, very bright in Buffalo. So very, very solid card to hit there to start the break. So not too bad. I might skip through a lot of the base, but it's a, it's actually a pretty good looking set. I was kind of questionable about it because it maybe it looked a little bit too plain, but I think it looks pretty clean. Uh, I do like the design out. It's got like the shadowy figure there of the player. Oh, uh, we have a canvas here. I'm not, wait, that could be, no, I don't think so. Um, no, let's see. Cause I think the young guns are the one, the black ones are the ones that are uh, different variants. So Kevin Shattenkirk there. Um, yeah, it is, it is fully black. So I don't know. We'll, uh, we have a ton more canvas cards coming up. So we'll, um, we'll see them all and see if there's a difference. But I think that the young guns are the only um, set that has those Easter egg. Ones. But let's go into the second stack here. We have uh, 40 packs to get into. So like I said, I'm going to try to do this as fast as possible. So Seth Jones here, uh, Anderson, Eller, and a superstar of Victor Hedman. That's, see, that's like a really nice looking set. It's kind of has like that, uh, you know, vintage car design on it. So I'm a big fan of that. Uh, obviously, there's the best part in the NHL, Chris Kreider and Anders Lee. Um, let's see, moving on here. I don't know, do you guys gotta leave it in the comments if you guys have opened any of this stuff yet, if you like it, um, you know, be sure to tag me on Twitter, at Jay-Z Polls, tag me on Instagram, same thing, Jay-Z Polls. Show me your guys' hits, I'd like to see what you guys get out of the set. So, moving along, he's here in the mask. We got Darlene, Arvidsson, and a debut dates of P. Suter. Flurry, Ross Uzi, and Dowdy. All right, come on. I, uh, I, you know, I actually would love to pull Zegers, but Tanner Janelle would be an awesome hit. Like a clear cut, maybe a, an exclusives of Janelle. I'd love that. I'd love the way he plays the game. So Nick Letty, Pedersen, we have a Dakota Joshua, Young Guns. So there you go. Again, not a very known player, but still a lot of promise in this class. I don't know. I wouldn't really say that they rushed it. 
Um, I think that, you know, with Series 1, it's kind of, I and mean, there's another voice crack. I'm going crazy today, guys. I think with Series 1, it's, you know, not going to be a lot of the guys. Obviously, Series 2 is going to have Cider, Raymond. I think Lundell will be in there, too. So, it'll be an exciting set. There's Michael Bunting on the front. Did not know he had a base card in this set. Zuccarello. I believe we have a canvas of Oliver Bjorkstrand. So, yeah, I, uh, is, I think this might be a variant. Uh, um... Yeah, 100%, right? There's That's all black, and then this is gray on the back. So, I don't know. Uh, let's uh, do a quick look here. Yeah, I just uh, I just looked at the back of the pack, and uh, it doesn't really... I think that is the unannounced Easter egg. I, was, I think it's, a you know, like a black variant. So, I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird, but I like it, though. I, I think it adds a little bit more of, like, a rarity to it. So, I'm a big fan of that. So, Yandel, Hurdle, Myers, Thompson, and a superstar of Patrick Kane. Very nice card there. Foxy. Excuse me. Now in his third set. Crazy. Or third year. I think he's probably he's probably in most of the series one and two sets, but third year Foxy. Uh Richard Pon see, like that's such a weird guy to put in here. Richard Ponick, Zach Parise. We have an electromagnetic of Gabe Villardi. I really like the way these cards look. It has like the uh what are those called? Uh, the color blast kind of feel to it. So I'm a big fan of those cards. Not very rare though, which is kind of unfortunate. I wish that was kind of like a like a rare set, but it's all right. I'm gonna move along here. We have two young guns out of this first box. Still looking for four more, um, but well, I mean, you know, just having some fun. I love ripping series one. Ooh, this is a card stuck together. Craig Smith and Eric Carlson canvas. Ryan Pulak, John Tavares, checklist of Hughes and Loth, and Max Domi. So, yeah, I, I really do. It stinks that we pulled a Shattenkirk out of, out of our uh, Easter egg canvas, but I'll take it. Barlamov, Shen. Oh, okay. These cards are like sticking together. Shabbat, who today just uh, broke his hand, done for the season. Uh, Alex Barboulet, young gun. Very nice there. We have Jacob Rana, Spurgeon, and Kaiser. Dang, hey, Kaiser. And then Jack Rosovic. I do like, too, also, how they put a lot of these guys in their reverse retros. Because I love those jerseys. I love all of them. So I was very, very happy to see that. But here we go. Moving along. Radulov, McCann. I'm going to try to go slayer. Keller. Backstrom. Eber oh, that, that's a French. Jordan Eberle, French variant, you can see there on the side. Pull it, Variante Francais. So very nice, Everly French. Uh, I'll put that, yeah, I'll just put that in a pile. Uh, Hannafin, Archibald, and Hoglander. I actually want to put that to the side so that I don't forget about it, but pretty cool there. Uh, fortunately, Everly was drafted in the expansion draft by the Seattle Kraken, so that card is a little outdated, but it's all right. All right, here we go. Chris Tierney, oh, got another canvas. Um, it is Quinn Hughes in the retro. See, that's just a nice shot. Love that card. Gensel, Hayes, Brody, and Hole. So, again, love the reverse retro. So, I'm trying to get my hands on a uh, Lady Liberty one, but they're just really expensive right now. So, a little bit out of my price range. Uh, Jake DeBrusque in a, another reverse retro? I think that's their reverse retro, but um, sorry. Saros and a portrait of Andrei Svechnikov. I actually like the way these look. I just kind of get trolled a little bit because it has that uh, sepia filter or whatever it's called. So it makes it like gold. So I think I'm gonna pull something big, but uh, I do not pull something big because it's just the uh, sepia filter, so. A little Nazem Kadri on the back. How about the season he's having, huh? Crazy. All right, here we go. We have another electromagnetic. Checklist of Robertson and Kaprizov. Devon Tays. And a Sergei Bobrovsky electromagnetic. Very nice card there. Miller, second year. Kaprizov, second year. Huberto and Kadri. What else is new? I mean, on spring break, uh, I got a really nice video coming out for you guys. Whether you guys have seen it already or not. We got two blaster boxes of uh, 1920 UD series too, so uh, be on the lookout for that video. But here's the guy, Artemi Panarin, uh, Josh Bailey. We have a oh, 
That's a really nice card. Um, checklist Young Guns of uh, Cole Caulfield and Trevor Zegers. Uh, I don't know how you know desirable these checklist cards are. I know obviously people would much rather get the you know base Young Guns or regular Young Gun card of just Caulfield and Zegers by themselves, but still really nice card there. Um, I do like the look of the checklist. Very very clean. They have kind of like a silvery finish to them. So. Nice card there. Uh, Young Guns of Caulfield and Zegris checklist. Very nice. So we'll move along here. Um, ooh, this, is a little, this pack feels a little heavy. Maybe a jersey card? UD game jersey? Nope. I, uh, I don't know if you guys saw it um, on my personal Instagram. I know a lot of you guys that watch my videos uh, you know know me personally, but check out the dent on that Koskinen. But uh if you guys saw my main account i opened up uh just you know a free box of or freelance box of uh 20 or uh, 2020 2021 um series one and i pulled a uh signature sensations which is like one in like 276 packs uh anze kopitar hundo p this is just a funny set i think uh i like it it's very it's creative it's kind of upper deck thinking outside the box something that they don't do very often so I'd like to see them switching it every moment. But we have, uh, let's see, I believe we have four Young Guns out of our first box here. Yes, we have four so far, so we're looking for two more. Uh, still have, looks like, let's see, we have seven packs left for the first box. So not a bad box so far. I do like the, oh, we have, a, is that a gold Hundo P? I think it is. Uh, let's uh, move that to the back here. Gold Hundo P, okay. Interesting. All right, Duncan Keith, Dylan Cousins, Carlson, Horvat, Lowry, Verhage, and our card is, here we go, Pajot on the front, Gold Hundo P of Alex Petrangelo. Um, this is going to be not numbered, but still, I, this this is just a great looking card. Here's a comparison uh, between the two, so I don't, uh, I'll check the uh, back of the pack again and just uh, cut it out, but... Nice card. Uh, the gold variant looks really cool, so happy to pull that. Uh, but let's just take a quick look at the uh, variation here. Yeah, so uh, I'll zoom in on it, but you can see it right in the middle there. Uh, Hundo P Gold Parallel is a uh, one in 192 packs, so almost 10 box, pretty much a case hit uh, to pull that. So nice card there. Uh, again, not a rookie, but still, I, I'm fine with the, the cool inserts. So here we go, Silverberg, Faraby, Stahl, Stevenson, another young gun of Rasmus, Kapari. Okay, not bad. Wheeler, Stutzla, and Lindholm. So cool, yeah, I, uh, really nice card. Pretty much a case hit for that uh, Petrangelo Hundo P. I want to keep that in my uh, hit pile. All right, let's see. What's next here? Got a Gabe Landeskog on the front. There we go. Landis Gog, I believe we have a Dazzlers here. Schultz, Gibson, and a Mitch Marner Dazzlers. The Dazzlers, by the way, this year look way better than last year's. Um, still that nice spoily design, but I really do like the yellow neon and then the uh, team name running down the side. So nice pull there for a Dazzlers. Mitch Marner stuff is always pretty coveted. Even the second year stuff is going for a lot. This, okay, see that this one feels thick. Nope, it's not. I'm off today, guys. I'm sorry. Ethan Bear, uh, Johnny Goodrow, Philip Sedina, Thatcher Demko, and a canvas of Jamie Benn. Very nice. Uh, oh, stuck together at the back? No. Oh, I think that was... I just skipped over it, but I think that the... Uh, I actually... I don't really know. I don't really know what the Bruins or Retro looks like, but I think, uh, Charlie Coyle was burning it at the end there. I think it's the all-yellow one. It's either that or the all-black one with the B. But, uh, all right, let's see. We have a, I think we have another portrait. Crosby, Hart, Vasilevsky, and a Tory Crew getting portrait. Look at that. Look at that flow. Jesus. Kurashev, Heiskanen, and Felino. Wow. Didn't know Tory Krug had that, had that going on for himself. Oh, this video will be out by the time a couple of trades happen. Uh, Callie Yonkro uh, going to Calgary. Sherratt to Florida. Vetrano to the Rangers. Um, so you guys let me know what you guys feel about those trades, but Nathan McKinnon, Hundo P, that's your regular base insert there. Also, like, let's just, 
Like, I feel like that's just like a nice card, right? You got him in the reverse retro, or well, 30th anniversary patch, and especially Team Meyer too. He's he's having a red hot season. Um, also, Tomas Hurdle signing to a eight year, eight million dollars extension. Um, I've seen some debate whether you people would want him, you know, over Mika Zibanejad or whatever. But I don't know. I think it's a. Oh, there's another. Oh, I didn't see who that was. Okay. Hang on. You guys might have. I did not. Campbell. God, like, you can't, like, you can't even, like, slow roll it. Uh, oh, yeah, it is. Tanner Jano, Young Gun. Uh, that's definitely a card I wanted to pull. Just the base Young Gun, but still. Uh, like I said before, I love his style of play. He gets the puck in deep. He works hard for it. And he's scoring at a pretty good pace. So, Tanner Jano, Young Guns. Uh, very, very nice. That's, uh, that's going to be a card I'm going to hold on to for a little while because... I think he could have a uh, pretty long career in the NHL. I'm trying to think of a comparable. I uh, I would probably compare him. <sighs> Tough. I might get some stuff for this, but I think he's comparable to Joe Pavelski. All right, here we go. Makachuk, McDavid base. That's a nice card to have. There's a rookie ranking. What do we got here? Rookie retrospective of Ty Smith. Nice card there. Very nice. And that is going to do it for box one. So just a little recap here. Uh, got our Janot Young Guns. Very nice there. Uh, we have our Rasmus Kapari. Our checklist of Caulfield and Zegras. We have a French Eberle. Uh, I just want to put that to the side just because it was, uh, I don't want to lose it. But we did, you know, go on track there. That's a, That was a pretty standard box. Uh, we got Barry Belay and Dakota Joseph as well as Michael Hauser. Pretty standard Box, a uh, couple of really nice inserts. Obviously, the Hundo P Gold was a very nice hit, but I'll show it again there. Just, you know, just a cool looking card. Uh, the gold foil looks really nice on this with the ring around it, but looks good with the Vegas jersey as well. But it's just a, just a nice card, so uh, good to pull, you know, kind of a rare insert. But let's uh, let's move along to the second box here. Um, that was about 18 minutes long, so we'll see how quickly we can do this. I don't really want it to be too long of a video, but let's get right into it. Uh, first pack of box number two. We're still looking for a Zegra, still looking for a Caulfield. Uh, me and my cousin went to Toy Wiz yesterday, which is in Nanuet. I've talked about it before on the channel. Uh, it's in Nanuet, New York. He grabbed a box. He pulled a Cole Caulfield Young Guns, so very happy to see him walk away with something nice, but... Uh, make sure you guys check out Toywiz in any way, or if you guys are not local, uh, give their website a shot at toywiz.com. They have some great stuff for some great prices. So here we go. Crosby, Hart, Vasilevsky, Campbell, and a Senator Philip Gustafson. I just picked him up in fantasy the other night, and he got absolutely shelled. So not really the guy I want to see right now, if I'm being honest. All right, let's move these into the frame a little bit more. Okay, here we go. Pack number two, Philip Gustafson for the first young gun. I didn't actually didn't know he was a rookie. I feel like he's been in the league for a little bit longer. All right. Andre Pilat, would love to have him as a ranger. Pesci, rookie retrospective of Mikey Anderson. Very nice there. Some more base. Oh, man. I am exhausted, guys, but got to do it for the content, right? Let's, uh, let's see if we can pull an auto. I, uh... Pull the signature sensations auto out of 2020-2021 uh, um, of uh, Aston Reese for a little, little bit of a personal break. Here goes another young gun here. Let's uh, let's try to slow roll it here. This is just base. Uh, sorry, I'll, put the, I'll 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 be I'll be professional, right? Keith Cousins. Oh God, see like I'm slipping out of it. Carlson Miller Lafreniere and nice. Let's do it from this way. Blyer, Jackson, Cates. Like, honestly, if I'm being honest, I don't know if that guy plays in the NHL right now. I don't. But, again, young set. None of these cards, honestly, unless maybe I pull a Caulfield or a Zegris, maybe I'll, I might I might put those on the market because those are going for pretty good prices. But still, I think I'll, most, if not all, of the young guns in this set are cards that should be held on to and not sold right away. So, Parise, Sagan, Robinson, Debrinkit, and we have a canvas of Philip Ronick. That's a cool card. Jumping up for joy there, or trying to maybe get out of the way of a shot. 
Um, but yeah, just uh, if you're if you're opening this set for fun, don't sell. I think I think a lot of these cards still have a lot of room to grow, and just be patient. All right, Greenway, Hornquist, Gerard, Poliarvi, Electromagnetic. Oh, that's a gold, right? Um, me. Uh, I have another one here. I think that is a gold. Yeah, it is. Gold electric magnetic of Nikolai Ehlers. Um, yeah, you can see on the back too. Very nice there. Um, yeah, let's, uh, I guess we'll check the odds on that card too, but uh, just, you know, Huber and Kadri at the back. Um, I'll zoom in on it a little bit more, but if you guys can see that right there, rookie retrospective, gold parallel, one in 240 pass. So again, pretty much another case hit. Um, not really a desirable player. This is actually the electromagnetic parallel, which is one and 160 packs instead of the rookie retrospective, which is one and 240. So my mistake there. I just came back from injury a couple weeks ago, but still just a, just a really nice card. Um, probably would, you know, go very, very nicely into a Winnipeg Jets collector's hands, something like that. But um, just still nice to always get a short print. Well, not, well, yeah, I mean, if you want to call it that. Zadina, Demko, Kachuk. We have a debut dates of P.L. Olive-Joseph, McAvoy, Aho, Nurse, and that's it. Um, I'm going to put the Ehlers to the side here. All right. Another pack that feels kind of heavy. I would love to pull a uh, UD game patch, not a jersey, a patch. I just, I don't know. I've been uh, kind of on a kick for... You know, those really nice, chunky-looking patches. We have another young gun here. Um, we'll just go right to it. Gibson, Silverberg, Faraby, and Marion Studenich. That's a nice young player for the Devils there. Um, I, I really, you know, I hate to give them credit, but I do like what the Devils are doing right now. Um, you know, I think that they're making themselves a little bit more marketable by bringing in, you know, guys like Hamilton and having guys on their team that, you know, can show the young guys how to play and all that stuff. And I think they've also done a good job of drafting. I think Jack Hughes is going to be a star. I like Sharon Govich. I like uh, Dawson Mercer. So they're, they're going to, they're going to be okay. I think the Devils are going to be all right. Um, here's a Quinn Hughes superstar. Very nice there. Hoglander second year versus Lincolns and Edmondson. Edmondson just coming back from injury, I believe. All right. Oh, what do we got here? Lars Eller, Stanley Cup champion, Lars Eller. Nate Gohesher, Joel Farabee, electromagnetic base, not the gold parallel we just pulled. Okay. We, uh, I believe we have, let me just take a look here before I rip into that pack. We have three young guns down. Um, names aren't that great, but that's why we got three more to go. Hopefully more. All right. Let's see. I follow, uh, Ekman Larson, Brad Marchand, a Capri Kirill Kaprizov UD portrait, Kempe, Yalmerson, uh, Gensel, and Hayes. Next pack up here. Um, ooh, do we have a clear cut? Oh, come on. Don't be a base. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's get it out. Okay, here we go. Tori Krug. Um, no, it's just a regular young guy. Bam. That's the wrong duck. It's all right. It's the wrong duck. Simone Benoit, young gun. Very nice there. I'll uh, put that to the front. So that is number four. It's the wrong duck, like I said. But again, this is just a fun rip. I... Uh, my expectations aren't through the roof with this set, but I would like to pull something nice other than that, Jano. Uh, Sean Walker. I believe we have a French. Nope. Lafreniere debut dates. Very nice. Heiskinen, Felino, Skinner. All right. Along on the next pack. I'd like, I really would like to pull a UD game jersey. I think they're like almost one in every box, so should be getting one. Uh, Sorelli, Panarin, Josh Bailey, Comfer, Young Gun. Of, oh, there you go. See, that's a nice one. Uh, I forgot about him too. Jamie Drysdale, uh, very, very high overall draft pick. 
Uh, does not say when he was picked, but still, just a nice card. Um, has a lot of potential on that Ducks blue line alongside uh, some of the other names they have there. Um, but a lot of them are allegedly going to be on the move before the NHL trade deadline, which is Monday, March 21st. So that should be fun. I don't know if this video is going to be out before or after the deadline, but I'm recording this on... Uh, Thursday. Um, what's today? I think the, today's March. Oh, it's St. Patrick's Day. That's right. 17th. Um, Bennington canvas of Patrice Bergeron. Nice card there. Falk, Gord, Truba, Everly. So yeah, uh, that's our fifth young gun. Um, we have a lot of packs left, which I kind of like because it means we might have, oh, there's a game jersey. Nice. Hopefully it's a patch, but it looks kind of small. Um, let's, uh, let's filter it out to the back here. All right, Meyer, Kurashev, Tierney, Delorier, LeBanc. Oh, Robert Thomas, UD game jersey. That's nice though. That's kind of like, it looks kind of off colored, no? Game use hockey memorabilia, UD game jersey, nice. I do like the design. They're kind of like, have like a retro look at them and then you got the jersey like inside the puck there. It's pretty cool. Uh, that might, I don't know. I'm trying to think of where they might've pulled that off of, but it's like a, it's kind of like an off white color. You see that? weird but nice good to pull a UD game jersey I was hoping it would be a patch but can't win them all guys you know can't win them all all right let's move along to our next pack I thought we had another one I was like what all right here we go Radulov McCann we have another portrait here I believe Keller Backstrom Bill the Thrill Future New York Ranger, question mark? Who knows? Who knows? All right. Oh, excuse me. Wow. McDavid. Oh, my God. Burping like crazy. Uh, Giryanov, Landeskog, Schultz, French, Alex Kerfoot. Nice card there. I'll put that off to the side. Okay. Just more base. Um, I don't really know. How do you guys feel about the French variants? Kind of, eh, they're all right. Um, I feel like they don't really add much. They're kind of common. I feel like you get kind of one per box, but um, here's something something nice. Borchek, Gallagher, Bear. Oh, come on. Really? Really? That's not right. But in the reverse retro, too. Buchanavish canvas. Um, yeah, it is what it is. But that just goes to show you, like, they printed this set mad early. Because they had to, they would have had to have, like, had the designs out, like, in, like, June or July, you know? Because that Buchanavish trade was in July of last summer. So, and then this set literally came out, like, two weeks ago, which is just crazy. Got another young gun here. I'm going to slow roll it. All right, um, Falk, Gord, Truba, Everly, Soros, Bennington, oh, next one. Um, we have a Wade Allison, Young Gun. Okay, not really, can't really say much there. Just, uh, just the Young Gun. Um, not really going to be a superstar in the NHL, but not really much you could say there about Wade Allison. Okay, Adam Lowry, Verhage, Pajo, and a Keandre Miller rookie retrospective. Tomorrow's another checklist of Lafreniere and Hughes. Uh, we have four packs left, so I think we've already hit our six young guns uh, after that Wade Allison poll, but oh, I think we have a, yeah, we do. Let's just see it. Here we go. All right, Joe Valeno, not bad. Uh, it's another player who I didn't know was in this set. So Joe Valeno there, um, first round draft pick for Detroit. Uh, not too bad of a pull there. Uh, hopefully he can stick around with that young core that they're building. Um, I think that if Iserman is willing to keep him around, it's that's definitely a player you want to keep your eyes on because, you know, Stevie does not mess around. So... We'll see. All right. Darlene, Arvidsson, 
bunting. We have a canvas of Anthony Mantha. Very nice. Ekholm, I'll move that to the front. Ekholm, Chikrin, Brat, and Theodore. All right, two packs left. Maybe one more young gun. I don't know, like, oh, we have a black canvas. Okay. All right, here we go. Brayden Shen, Shabbat. I'm gonna hold on to these so that I don't have to pick them up off the thing. Oh, come on, come on, come on. It's this way. Who is it? Oh, God. Okay. Um. I mean, it's a variant. Ooh. Uh, R2, I mean, what? I, R2 Rootsalainen. R2 Rootsalainen? Oh, that's uh, that sounds much better. R2 Rootsalainen. Okay. Uh, Young Gun Canvas Variation. Easter egg, whatever you want to call it. Card. Nice. Okay. Um, I don't know. I, I was hoping... I don't know. I was really hoping that was going to be something better, but it's okay. It's all right. We, again, fun opening. I think we've pulled seven young guns out of this box, so can't be too mad. And then we have a portrait, I believe, here. Uh, Kaprizov, Robertson, checklist, and a portrait of Kyle Connor to finish up us off. Okay, so um, not a bad two-box opening. Not anything crazy. Um, but again, I think that it, that just goes to show you that, you know, this is still a very, very young class. And there's a lot of guys in here that, you know, people might not be familiar with. And so that's just kind of how it goes. So um, let's just recap here. We got the R2 Russelin and uh, variation canvas young guns. Um, this is, this is, I mean, this canvas card is a little tricky because I would much rather prefer them, you know, slide up maybe the upper deck logo or maybe redesign so they could put the young guns here. But I guess kind of stick with the theme. I don't know. It's, it's still not a bad looking card, but... Still, nice pull of variation. Uh, Valeno, Young Guns, Wade Allison. There's our Kerfoot French, uh, French. <laughs> there's our Kerfoot French variant. Uh, we got a Robert Thomas UD game jersey. Simone Benoit. There's a truck just driving by. Um, so Simone Benoit, Marion Student Nietzsche. We got our uh, Nikolai Ehlers uh, gold electromagnetic parallel. Jackson Cates, Philip Gustafson. I believe that was our first, our second box that we opened. I don't know, but I just wanted to kind of combine everything together. Let me just grab our, also, this was out of the first box too, so I'll just, I'll slide that to the back. You guys can look at it again at the end, but then we had our, uh, I got to do some price checking on this, but this is still a pretty cool card of uh, Zegris and Caulfield, so nice checklist there. Uh, Barb Boulay, Dakota Joshua, Ho uh, Hauser, there's Drysdale, Jeannot, Kapari, and then our variation hundo p of alex petrangelo so not bad um not sensational like i said but still pretty good we got three um four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen young guns out of two boxes so not bad for two i went a little bit above average so i hope you guys enjoyed uh stay tuned for more videos like i said i have Two blaster boxes of 1920 uh, Series 2, or excuse me, Series 1 um, on the way. Whether you guys have seen that already or not, I do not know. But I will make sure that these two videos, both this one I just recorded now and the one, uh, the two blaster boxes that I have get out pretty close to each other. I'm not going to space them out too much. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, stick around for more videos and uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.